Hello YouTube! Sometimes we realize that the people we trust the most are the worst. In our video today, we're going to talk about the unthinkable story of Gypsy Rose Blanchard and the death of her mother Didi Blanchard. So let's get started! The mother and daughter received a lot of help from several associations and benevolent organizations due to the daughter's disability. No one would have known the truth behind their lives. The day of the discovery On June 24, 2015, police found the lifeless body of Didi Blanchard on her property had no trace of her daughter who was known to be disabled. The life of Blanchard and her daughter Didi, real name Claudine, was born in 1967 into a modest family. She met Rod Blanchard and became pregnant with his child at the age of 24. They named their daughter Kipsy Rose. Shortly after Kipsy Rose's birth, the young couple split up despite Didi's attempts to reconcile. She then raised her child alone. When Gipsy was just three months old, her mother took her to the hospital, saying Gipsy had a problem with snip apnea. After several tests, the doctors found nothing wrong with the little girl, but her mother insisted and proved Gipsy had also a chromosomal disorder and a muscular dystrophy. Gipsy was forced to use a walker. After Hurricane Katrina in August 2005, Claudine and Gipsy left their crumbling flat. Claudine said Gipsy's medical records, including her birth certificate, had been destroyed in the floods. An Ozark doctor suggested they move to Missouri, and the following month they were flown there. The story of a single mother and her severely disabled daughter received considerable attention from the local media. Numerous charities helped Didi and Gypsies settle in and live comfortably in the aftermath of the disaster. Many people who met Gypsy were charmed by her. Standing 1.52 meters tall with her almost toothless mouth, large glasses, it was not difficult to believe in the troubles her mother was conjuring up. Gypsy often wore wigs or hats to cover her baldness. Her mother shaved her regularly to mimic the hairless appearance of a chemotherapy patient. Didi used physical violence to control her daughter, always holding her hand in the presence of others. Whenever Gypsy said anything that suggested she wasn't really ill or seemed beyond her supposed mental capacity, her mother would squeeze her hand hard. The medical interventions continued. Gypsy later claimed that her mother used a local anesthetic to numb her gums before visits to the doctor to make her drool. But also, tubes were implanted in her ears to control her alleged ear infections. Didi appeared to forge copies of Gypsy's birth documents to show she was still a teenager. At an event in 2011, Gypsy made an escape attempt. Gypsy recalls that Didi later smashed her computer with a hammer and threatened Gypsy if she ever tried to escape again. Didi later told Gypsy that she had filled papers with the police stating that Gypsy was mentally incompetent, which led Gypsy to believe that if she tried to ask the police for help, they wouldn't believe her. Around 2012, Gypsy continued to use the internet without her mother noticing. She then met Nicola Godjohn, a man her own age. Gypsy and Godjohn soon became close and began to devise an escape plan, and she told her relationship with Godjohn to a neighbor whom she considered to be her big sister. The murder 
In June 2015, when Didi was peacefully asleep, Gipsy let God join in and provided him with all the materials he needed to use to murder her. Gajon killed Didi in her sleep. They then took $4,000 mainly from her father's child support check and then they ran away. Meanwhile, they were seen on security cameras in several local shops. Didi's family and friends became aware of some strange things after Didi's announced word phone calls. They called the police who found Didi's lifeless body on her property. Udwansi, the neighbor, told police what she knew about Gipsy and her secret online boyfriend. On the basis of this information, the police asked Facebook to trace the IP address from which the posts on Didi's account had been made. The following day, police raided the Gajan home in Big Bend. Gipsy and her lover surrendered and were taken into custody for murder and armed criminal action. Gipsy and Gajan were quickly extradited and held on $1 million bail. But the Springfield media soon reported the truth about the Blanchard's lives. Gipsy had never been ill and had always been able to walk, but her mother had made her pretend otherwise, using physical violence to control her. Green County Sheriff Ernaud asked the public not to give the family any money until investigators had learned the full extent of the fraud. Gipsy was then sentenced to 10 years in prison and her lover to life imprisonment. And that's it, the incredible story of the mother and the daughter Blanchard, a story that is so hard to believe. If you found this story interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the notification bell to receive other fascinating stories. Until next time!